I'm Claude Thibault, editor of SortieJazzNights.com, and tonight, Tuesday, March 23rd, guitarist extraordinaire Larry Coriel presents Bombay Jazz alongside George Brooks on, on sax, Ranendra Majundar on flute, and Ayutthaya Kalvanpur on the tabla and as well as Quebec guitarist Yves Nadon that I just saw. Special guest. Special guest uh, here at Last Real in Montreal. Hi, Larry, and welcome to Montreal. Thank you, Claude. It's great to be here. Uh, it's, gonna, it's going to sound great, I know already. Larry, tell us about the Bombay Jazz Project and how that came about, and what, what's, your, what's, what's your connection to that style of music? Well, I've always liked Indian music as soon as I heard it for the first time in my life, which was when I was in college. Uh, like everybody else in my generation, we, we went to somebody's house and uh, smoked a few things and listened to records of Ravi Shankar. And then later on, Ali Akbar Khan, people like that. So I, I saw a connection, a, a remote but still definite connection between American blues and uh, Indian improvisation especially because of the, uh, the bending, the bending of the strings on the sitar and the bending of the strings on uh, blues guitarists. And then uh, later on when I got into creating what was now called fusion music, uh, we naturally gravitated towards a lot of odd time signatures and other Indian um, features, features that come di directly from Indian music. Um, but I, was, I wasn't the only one, I was one of many people of my generation who were influenced by that. And Bombay Jazz came about when uh, I, I played a concert with a Bansuri player, that's the flute, named Hari Prasad Chaurasia in San Francisco, and one of the guests on that concert was George Brooks, and we had an immediate rapport and decided that uh, you know, some, somewhere in the future we should play, play together pursuing this uh, kind of Indo-Jazz fusion. And at the same time, I was, uh, Ranendra, his name is Ronu, his nickname is Ronu. So Ronu got in touch with me, I, f I forget how, maybe by a letter or telephone, and he was coming to the United States, so I came to one of his concerts. Uh, he was interested in doing something with me. I came to one of his concerts and I was very impressed with his artistry. Very impressed and uh, just filed it away for the, for the right time when it would be good for us to play together and it started happening a few years ago. And we, we tour about once a year, once every two years. And this is um, our first uh, tour in about two years. The last one was in the UK. We had a beautiful tour in the UK. In 2007, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was 2007. Or 2008, I can't remember. One of those years. No, it had to be 2007. Because Fall it, of 2007. I, w I would have remembered if it was 2008 because that was the election. So, w will we be hearing... Uh, what kind of music will you be playing? Because well, you, you could be doing standards in an Indian style as you could be doing not original so much, music. Not so much. If I do any standards, I will do them alone. But the music of Bombay Jazz up to this point is shaped by the individual compositions that come from the composers. And the three composers are myself, George, and Ronu. So according to the composer, you get a, a, a different degree of, uh, of un mélange of l'est and west. East and west. We oui. East and west. And, uh, but then you must hear each composition to decide for yourself just how much is east and how much is west. And then you might say, I don't know the difference anymore. <laughs> and that's, that's the... Uh, that's the uh, the target. You, you really don't know the difference. Interesting.